Let's come in. Let's come in. Whoa, what's going on guys? Uh, Welcome to the new series on the channel, even though we've got a million. This is called Expensive Taste, all right? And it's where me and Sam go through the lowest of low prices, value products compared to the highest of highest prices oh, yeah. within our profit price range, you know what I'm saying? Because we can't afford that much. Yeah, yeah. So but we're going to be going from anything from garlic bread to what, Sam? To what? Compare it. He's trying to make me think of some of the biggest of the big. I don't know, jet planes one day will be comparing jet planes. <laughs> hey, I, mean, I like that. I, I like them goals, yeah. So that's what I said, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so tell them what we've got on today's episode. Oh my god, what we're doing today, I bet you know what you've done a good one. It's quite a good idea. Is this rose champagne today? A rose wine? What's the difference? Champagne or wine? Champagne's just a little bit. Either way, Ben, take me to paradise, you know what I mean? Oh! Buddy, how you do that really? You know what I'm saying? All right, look, it's magic, isn't we're it? trying a new thing. A new thing, all right? It's going to be called Expensive Taste, or is it worth your pee? We haven't decided yet, you know what I mean? I like the pee one. I like the pee one, but you let us know. If you want it to be called Expensive Taste, or is it worth your pee, let us know in the comments down below. But I always think to myself, like, you know when you see cheap products, and then you see the more expensive versions of the products? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I always think, is it worth spending the extra money? Is it? Is it? Does it taste better, or does it just look better? Is it just, are you just paying for the name, or are you paying for some quality stuff? You know what I've noticed since moving in by myself? Obviously you want to budget on a couple of things, don't oh, you? Yeah. I used to buy that premium chicken fillets and stuff like that. And then I started Straight getting like... Straight from the butchers. Yes, that's oh, no, that's oh, yeah, that's some good there. stuff. But then I started getting supermarkets own. I just thought, I can do the exact same thing with this 50p chicken. And as same. I could with a six pound peri peri chair bucket premium. You know what I mean? Or oh, the toilet roll, it's all the same. It's all the same. It's just a different name on the box. Yeah. But it can be just as good for 50p to five pounds. I mean, what's the difference? Yeah, what is the difference? But sometimes it is worth paying the extra money. Like I think expensive aftershave smells and lasts a lot longer. It smells better and lasts a lot longer than cheap aftershaves. And now like Sam said, it can do the, it can get the exact same experience or the exact same taste from something that costs half the money, even less. Now, this series, is about to change that. We're gonna find out for you guys, you know what I'm saying? We're gonna find out for you guys if it's worth your pee. Is it worth your money spending the extra bit of money on that special product or are you saving and getting the cheaper stuff and you're better off that way because it tastes just the same? Or if it feels just the same, if it looks just the same, or if it performs just, just the same. same. That's Not what I'm same. saying. Look, is it worth your pee? Expensive taste, let us know. Today's first episode, which I think is a great I idea. I'm quite excited because mm. I've not experienced in this field of which we're going to experience. Now neither am I. Sin. You know, let's trial a line of rosé wine champagnes, you know, slash bracket wine champagnes. And we've got our cheap one, like the basic ones, Prosecco. But I always think, you know, when you, you, you go to a restaurant and you're like, you're with your lady or you're with your boyfriend or you're with, you know, that special someone. Hey, and you always want to order that, that expensive bottle of champagne or the expensive glass of champagne, but there's always one that's half the price. And is, does it taste just as good? Well, you know what? You're going to find out, you know what I'm saying? Because we've got the, the literally, we've got the extra value cheap Prosecco, which is what I've always known as a cheap champagne, and we've got the, the big star studded champagnes. Now, we're not talking thousands of pound bottles, we're talking about reasonable, they don't know affordable, that. expensive stuff. Yeah, because we're going to tell them how much you're spending. You know what I'm if I get impressed by this, I'll be amazed. But well, champagne and rosé never hit me. So, if you can blow me today, <laughs> <laughs> so if oh. you can blow me away today with these, I will be impressed. Well, I don't know if I'm going to, you it's down to the brand. Yeah, you've bigged up one of these. It's, I have bigged so up one of these. It'll be all right. So, let's introduce product number one the bottom of the line. Before you start out, I know you're going to say, this isn't rosé, this isn't champagne. Yeah, I know, this is a cheap champagne. This is what people in my, where I'm from, c consider as cheap champagne. Okay, product number one, coming in at £2.50. Now, notice it is reasonably smaller than the other bottles, which you're about to see. But because it's the cheapest, we're not going to be having too much of it tonight. I bought a small one, just for the comparison reasons. Oh, this will go down in no Now, if time. you wanted a big bottle of these, like the other bottles, you're going to be paying about £6. Right, firstly, I want to start with the name anyway. Machio. Sounds like Machino to me. It that sounds clothing brand. It's going to be 11%, so we'll get you giddy. It's all in the bubbles, isn't it? It's all in the bubbles with this sort of stuff, apparently. <laughs> I don't know what you love about with the bubbles. <laughs> okay. Right, so that's that. Like, with the cheap one, yeah? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Let's move up a level, though. Let's go up one level. Okay, product number two. Coming in at £42 is Moe Rose by Moe and Chandon Champagne. Chandon. Rose Imperial Brut. Look, now a lot of people talk about this, they say it's like, it's your more expensive but affordable, like you're expen ex exportable, that's what I'm going to call it, it's exportable, alright? I've never had Moe Rose Imperial, ever. Now, the box is very nice, I like the fact it comes in a box. 
yeah, so he steps up a little bit more elegant, some charm. You feel like you're about to open up a surprise. It's definitely a cork in the top, so you know it's going to be some oh, good you know stuff. Good if, it's like, if it's got a cork, I like it. So the percentage of this is 12%, so this is going to get you a bit oh, giddier than the first. one more than Now, the I always previous. compare it, the percentages to spirits, you know, because it's a big bottle. Mm. So I always think, oh, it's not, it's no, because vodka's got like 18% in our what, but apparently it's all in the bubbles, you know what I'm saying? Apparently you get six glasses of champagne's worth in this, so it could see you through at night quite oh, nicely. Yeah, You'd be at a Tennessee. nice party, nice little if butler were going around, you want a little bit? Little yeah, beer, I feel like beer. this is definitely an upper market thing. So considering upper market, what do you think about the way it looks? I think the way it looks is very nice. I like the darkness of the bottle. I like the her majesty by appointment to her oh. majesty Queen Elizabeth II. I like these little stamps, the golden and black ribbon that's on the front. The most excited about this one so really? far until I look at the next one. Before we even reveal this, this is the one that Ben has bigged up for about a year saying this is the thi this is the premium. Oh, this is you'll special. Once you sip it, once it touches your lips, you'll never think the same again. Yeah, you so won't. go on, you won't. bring it and to I'm me. telling this to all you, I recommend this to everybody who's watching this video. Now, this is called Ruinart Champagne Rosé. Now this stuff is special. And the, the price of this is 60, I paid 69 pound for this on Amazon Prime. You can get it online for like 64 pound, but you're gonna be paying postage anyway. So I thought I'll get Amazon Prime with next day delivery. So the percentage of this is 12.5%. Oh, it so just for goes extra, up an upper for, step every so single one. for the extra one. 20 pounds, you're getting a whole half a percentage more of alcohol, but it's not about that, it's about that premium quality taste that you're about to get from this from 1729 it's man. not from no, 1729 they started in 1729 but the box is lovely as well it opens sideways instead of just up. oh so nice those, i didn't know that's didn't like get that. so this is how it comes guys oh, oh you know that's special don't you you know it's, it's like special flashed now i'm gonna be keeping the box for a while i'm that kind of guy i think this does not look as good as the, the Moe. middle tier Moe. Really? Like it's a bit more of a God, plain didn't that bottle. roll off the tongue? Middle tier Moe. Oh, middle tier <laughs> Moe. At the same time, I think it could look like an oversized perfume bottle. Now I've introduced you to all these contenders, from cheapest to middle class to most expensive, we're now gonna be doing a blind taste test. Now, because I've tried Ruin Art and I know what it tastes like, I'm familiar with the taste, it'd be unfair for me to do the blind taste test. So Sam's going to be doing that today. I'm excited. So what I'm, I'm going to do excited. is, I'm going to pour one glass of each product that we've got. I'm going to mix them about. Me and you will know what they are. Sam won't and Sam's going to do a taste and try and guess which one's which and give us a brief explanation of what they all taste like. And then at the end of the video, we'll give you a full review of what we actually think the taste of these champagne, rosé champagnes and baby Prosecco taste like. <laughs> yeah! Oi! Oh, that's literally like uh, books. So that, that is, look, it's just a no, lid. No, don't let me sniff it. Don't let me Bro, sniff it. it's just a lid. I don't want to know. It's it. just a lid underneath there. All right, I like I like the fake cork though. Give it, give that a good look, Sam. Look at that fake ass shit. <laughs> Next one. Oh, it feels naughty even opening this, doesn't it? Go on. Oh. Oi! This one, the Moe Rosé, is actually bubbling. Come in. It's coming. Oh. Sam's gonna cover his eyes. I'm mm. gonna pour a glass for him, and we're gonna see what he thinks it is, and if he likes it or not. You ready, Sam? Yeah. I'll cover your goddamn eyes. Yeah. Going for this first, guys. Yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> oh, oh, oh it's fantastic. This. Let me sniff it first. Like, oh, it smell smells great, fruity. It? Stick your pinky out, bro. I actually really like it, but I don't know if it's because I'm creating a fancy situation <laughs> in my head. I'm thinking it's like the mid tier one. It's time for the next one. You know, gonna gonna be. Rate that, I'll rate that one. Yeah, what you're gonna eight rate? Eight out of ten. Eight out of ten. Eight out of ten. All right, great. This is the next one. Oh, you know when your cheeks go a little bit red and the blood comes into them from yeah, a bit yeah, of liquor. Yeah, yeah. I'm feeling happy. Oh, it's got a severe froth. Yeah, I know. Number two, get that down here. What do you reckon? <laughs> <laughs> Which? Oh, if you put your ear to it, it's crazy. That, whoa. <laughs> whoa. That adds really nice bubbles to it. Nice bubbles? You appreciate yeah. the bubbles with that? Yeah, yeah. That don't even taste like champagne. That tastes like something better. 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 
So if this is the lowest one, I'll be in disbelief. But to me, I'm 100% reckoning. Reckoning this is the rule now. This is this you could drink like glasses of. There it is. This is the fizziest one out of them all. Here he goes. This one smells a bit dirtier. And I'm 100. I'm already saying this is the lowest one. Okay. And I feel like if this is real now, you're gonna go crazy. But oh fuck! I can't believe you've done this. Oops. This does not taste as nice as the other two. Really? I'm, really? I'm, really? I'm 100% saying this is the lowest one. I think if I was wrong, you would have kicked off more at that point. I'm 100% saying this is nice, the same. It's blind taste. This is the lowest one. It's this is the lowest taste. one. That's what you think it's the lowest. It's got like a. Like not a bitter taste, but like. It's not as smooth and enjoyable. Like you drink it and you can't go. Alright, so this is the one that you had first. That's the one that you had second, and this is what you had third. So from left to right, that's the order that you tasted. Now lift your blindfold. Right, hold on. So, right, so right, first, yeah. I'm gonna say was tier two. It was Moe. Yeah. Moe Rosé. Yeah? Okay. The second one, I'm saying 100% Runa. That was fantastic. It was like it were drinking like fine yeah. wine. Yeah. Like a nice statues. Oh, you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, better. Yeah, yeah. It was like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Be careful, lad. <laughs> I would pay higher prices to be able to sip that in, to put that in my mouth. Really. And then this one, I'm hunt I've got to say, has got to be the. It's funny, What's it called? Nowhere near it. Machina. Machina. <laughs> and guess what? <laughs> Big Daddy's right. <laughs> Big Daddy's wrong. The one that you said were the worst was the Ruiner. No, you're yeah. Joking. No, I'm not joking. I know where I don't yeah, believe you. No. You're telling me I said you said that was nine point five. That's the beauty of it. That's the blind taste. I think you're lying, I'm Nick. Sad. If you're watching this, I'm sorry. I mean. It goes right to your cheeks, doesn't it? <laughs> Alright, go on, go on, go on, go on, go on. Bonus round. This is how I've lined it up. Yep. Number one. This is number one? Yeah. I'll tell you now, that's a Prosecco. That's the cheap one. I don't know now. You know what? They all taste the same. <laughs> <laughs> We're <a> blind, bro. <laughs> no, 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 no. That's rude, not that, bro. It's nice. Tell it's... me why it actually is. That. Yeah. It's that. That's. I don't know what that is, bro. It tastes good. I can't tell what it is though. Are you ready? Put that to the side. Final one. This one. Yep. That's the best one. That's the best one. That's the best one. So which one is it? I don't know. That tastes great though. Does it? Yeah. That tastes goddamn good. Do you want to know which were which? Yeah. That's the last one you tasted. <laughs> <laughs> That's the second no one you way. tasted. Runa. That was the first one I tasted. That was the second one. The first one I was right with the Moe though. No, I said that was the cheap one, didn't I? Yeah, he said the cheap one. He said the cheap one were the best one by you know a mile. Like, they all kind of taste the same, I'm not gonna lie. They are very nice, don't get me wrong. I feel like I'd get a ruin art for an occasion, a good occasion. You wanna celebrate like an anniversary, you wanna get something nice, it's been a while since you've had a drink. You, birthday. Laugh. you want a bit of mash it I'd have a ruin art just for the experience, all right? Moe is very smooth, it's very good. I appreciate it. But this guy, this guy's the star of the show apparently because this actually tastes really smooth it's so, so go good. get yourself a bottle of machino a big bottle for six pound why do you keep calling it machine that's what i'm calling it that's machio. the brand go that's get yourself a bottle of machio machio please sponsor us yeah That'd be great go, go, sponsor us ruin our sponsors bro <laughs> guys this has been expensive taste now what's next let us know in the comments down below what do you think what what cheaper product do you think is better than the more expensive product or what expensive product do you think is cheaper better than the cheaper product let us know and we'll get on it next but guys thanks for watching as always it's been your boys at guilty and ciao you know what i'm saying see you later cheers <laughs> <laughs>